YouTube, it's me, Ama and Cami again. And Cami, we're in a hurry. <laughs> we're getting ready for church, and I'm just gonna do another quick, simple little girl's hairstyle. So, um, again, we're getting ready for church, and Cami's hair is natural, needs to be shampooed, but I don't have time for that. I'll do it later, so she'll be cute for school. So you may see another uh, tutorial today. So right now we're gonna do a couple simple double ponytails in the back, single on the top, and embellish with um, hair stuff, <laughs> um, barrettes. As you see, as you can see, Cammy's hair is really, really thick, and if I need it to lay down, I have to do a lot of brushing and smoothing. I'm going to bring her top ponytail back a little further than I had it the other day, so I'm going to bring the part back a little further. Cammy's being a good girl. She's not ouching and all that. Thank you, Cammy. So, so far, I have four quick, well, two ponytails. I'm sorry two parts and I'm going to use I first used um, braid sheen spray with conditioner that I'm out of and I have a substitute over there just to moisturize her hair and I'm going to use a little live start to smooth again we're not doing anything major because I really need to shampoo her hair whenever I need to comb out the, the hair I grab it at the base and I start with the tips. That's the best way to uh, keep from pulling out all of the child's hair. And I gently just pull it towards the ends. I may not even be able to pull it all the way out because if I do this and it's still a little kink in there, then I'm going to pull out a big huge knot. So I'm bringing it all to the end. And there we go. Down. Now I'll come closer to the base. She hates this part, but come closer to the base and pull it towards the middle and get a good grip on it and start to work it out. hair coming out that's natural that's that's it's natural for that to happen our hair is supposed to shed every day 80 to 100 hairs a day sometimes it gets locked up in between our natural curls so She's okay. Oh, sorry. Now, I really, really, really 
hate to use rubber bands i may have to actually i'm going to because i really need to smooth her out also i'm going to do a little um eco styling gel on her here we go eco styling gel on her edges but she it's all right can i'm not doing that side yet just so that i can get it all into the band can you hand me a rubber band and messy right now but making it quick making our ponytail low and I put the rubber band on twist open it up twist open it up pull it through twist open up pull it through I don't want it too tight because we all know that rubber bands will break your hair. I still have a little. Now, okay, so now she's doing cute little ponytail. So I'm going to separate that. Just put a tad bit of gel in there. These are things I say no no to, but like I said, we're in a hurry. Her hair hasn't been shampooed, so it's not very well um, groomed for the ponytail. So I have to lay it down the best I can. I still have a kink in here that I missed. There it is. Okay, so now I'm going to put make one twist out of the two twists out of the two sections that I just separated that's the gel that it's all white and mushy right there but that will go away I'm going to wrap it around. I know I'm doing a lot of no-nos, but right now, I'm doing the best I can right now for church. Oops, and I forgot to put my pink band on there. As soon as we get home, we pull them out. Oops. Okay, we're dropping everything right now. But okay, I'm gonna try and speed through this really quick, and we'll be right back. 